Hello, this is Dr. Wang. So we'll continue with the uh, Flask, or, uh, Flask mini project. So when the submit the form, it will validate their in input and either show it from again with an error message or create a new user and go to the login page. So for now, you will just write the view code and go here. And on the next page, you will write the template generate the HTML form. So here we have the register code, register code, and we will get the <clears throat> get on post request. And then, so we have post, you will get the username password to get DB, and uh, then you will just execute the insert into the database and then get some error or already interested and so on and then render the register the HTML page. So the register HTML page is here. Um, you can see it's here, you guys the post, username, password, and so on, and then you can register and submit. And then you can get login. So, uh, Let's see, uh, it has many things that, but we were not going to look at it. And then we have login, login, we have get and post, you have get and post and so on. And the login actually is with select from the user and the if the and fetch fetch one row. And then you will compare the password, you check the password with hash. <clears throat> And then you are going to use it to update the session. Okay. And then log out. Log out, we just clear the session and we go back to the index. I require authentication on the other views, but when you create editing and deleting post, it will require you to be logged in. So in the, <clears throat> we'll just skip this and we'll go to the next template. Well, the templates is uh, the HTML page that uh, you know can support your functions. So all of this you can see here. We can mm, we have a base. And uh, the block, the block title, and then the block it will. Change the title display, the browsers type of go down and the win when down and the win down win down title and the header and content. Register is simple. And uh, it's also that it's intended the base title so it, uh, it's easy and uh, login is also easy. Register uh, file and static the static file. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the uh, base HTML. We have um, here you can see we have the URL for static, URL for static, the file name and the style CSS. So the CSS file is something uh, written in HTML, but so we do, I don't know, we don't really care about it. Blog loop point. Okay, this is very important. We're going to go through it, but note with all the details, okay? So we will use the same technologies, uh, techniques you learned about when writing the authentication and the blue, uh, blueprint to write the blog. Uh, blueprint to the blog should show the list of all the posts and uh, all, all the log in users to create posts and then all of the uh, also, uh, author of a post to edit and delete it. And you implement each uh, view, keeping the development server running, and you see your changes by 
uh, try going to the URL in your border and test them out. So the blueprint, define the blueprint and register it in the application factory. So for instance, we have the blog high file and from the class, you import the blueprint and the class with G redirect and so on. And from uh, uh, with the, uh, the exception to import the board. And from cluster, you import uh, all you import the login required. You, you from cluster DB, you import the get DB, and then you create a new blueprint with that blog with the name at BP. So important that the register import the register blueprint for the factory using the app the dot to register blueprint. So place the new code at the end of the factory function before returning the app. So you will going to put your um put put the this function is called uh, mm -hmm. we will import the blog and we will do the register blueprint with blog BP and we will add some URL rule at the endpoint and index. So unlike the auth blueprint, the blog blueprint does not have a URL prefix, so the index will, will be at a uh, flash. So create view at flash create and so on. So the blog is the main feature of Flutter. So it makes sense that blog index will be in the main index. However, the endpoint for the index will define defined it below will be a block dot index. Some of the authentication views refer to the plan index endpoint uh, app dot uh, add URL rule as some uh, associate associate the endpoint name index with slash URL so that the URL for index or URL for block dot index will both work. Generating the same slash URL literally. So, in other authentication, you might want to have blog blueprint as the URL prefix and define the separate index view in the application factory, similar to the hello view then in the index under the uh, blog index. And the points in the URL would be different. Index. The index will show all the posts and the most recent part recent first and so join is used to, so that the author information will from the user a table is available in the result. So blog dot high road slash index get db execute to the SQL uh select select uh from post Join user on the user's ID and the user's ID ordered by created DSC and post ID type type body created your ID and other user name. Get all those data at the post and then use it at the post into the index HTML. But if you go to here, you go here, you go to see the uh, blog, you will see the index here. For all the index, you will see the post. Where are the posts? The post is here. Mm. So everything in the post. We have post type, post username, post ID. So again, in the index, you are you are seeing all these things. So we in the user is logged in the header block and I as a link to the create view and then to the user is the author of the post you will see the added link to the update uh, view of that post loop last is a special variable available inside Jinja for loops it used to be loops run along after each post except the last one the view separate the
Create the total create view is works the same as the, the all uh, all register view either from is displayed or the posted data is validated and the post is added to the database or an error is shown. So the login requires a direct and the, the code reader you wrote earlier is used on this blog views. So a user must be logged in to visit this view. Otherwise, they may be uh, registered to the login to the login page. So here we have the mm, the block the block, and uh, we will see it has the uh, create it has get it has post it can get the title and body, and then it's it into the database okay and now we have the create html so in this post you will have the create you will have all the information needed input input the text update you will select the post and then you will um Get the post by selecting, and then you will be using the update. So, using the update is actually you can update the post mm -hmm. and delete, delete, you will just get the ID and then you will delete it. Make the project installable. Mm -hmm. So we will firstly describe the project as a setup of the file, the project, project and the file that belongs to. So from the setup, setup profile, mm -hmm. here from setup profile, you will just import the setup tools in the setup and uh, you will have uh, the name, the version, the package and so on. So the package uh, tells the pattern that the package is directory and the, to include the some packages under the directory automatically so you don't have to have them out and to include the other such as the statistic and uh, template in the directory to include package in set. Uh, many fast is that. This is many fast. So this tells the pattern to copy everything in the statistic and the complete uh, directories and the, the schema kickoff and notebooks can execute all binary codes. Install will be installing all the product in the virtual environment. Install minus e and then this will tell us the pipe to find the set up in the current directory and install everything as the ball or available module and the edit ball module means that have you make changes to the whole code you only need to release or if you need to change the metadata of other projects such as dependent at least and then you will see all everything you already have
And now we are going to see the test. Um, we will set up the environment to insert something. You will contact something. And you will do the factory test. You will do the database test, communication test. Deploy to the department production. This part is build and install. We build a install um, web. Then set up app installer. That runs a bigger on the production server. Keep developing. That's the end. We go through this project very well, and I really hope they can help you. I probably not very helpful at this moment, but uh, we already know the structure and know where to change the code. I really hope it can be. Uh, I just try myself, I'm going to do a lot of based on this template, this project uh, by modifying something. Uh, you need a SQLite, you need a G, uh, HTML, and the, the block. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye.